Dear Mom and Dad, I understand that you're about to embark on your first overseas journey, and I wanted to offer some advice to ensure that you have a hassle-free and enjoyable trip. Preparation is key when it comes to traveling, so here are a few suggestions to help you along the way. First and foremost, make a checklist of the essential items you need to pack. This will help you stay organized and ensure that you don't forget anything important. Start by gathering all the necessary travel documents such as passports, visas, and any other identification required. Consider the climate and activities you'll be participating in at your destination. Don't forget to pack any essential medications or prescriptions you may need during your trip. It's wise to carry them in your carry, on bag in case your checked luggage gets delayed or lost. Also, remember to pack a basic first aid kit with items like band-aids, pain relievers, and any other necessary medications. Invest in good quality luggage that is durable and has sufficient compartments for easy organization. Research and familiarize yourselves with the local customs and traditions of your destination. This will help you navigate and adapt to the local culture more easily. Lastly, make sure to inform your bank and credit card companies about your your travel plans to avoid any issues with your accounts. Remember, the key to a hassle-free journey is proper planning and preparation. Take the time to organize and pack thoughtfully, and don't hesitate to ask for assistance if needed. One of the most memorable lectures I attended was a guest lecture by Dr. Jane Goodall at my university. It was held in the spring of 2019, and I was fortunate enough to secure a seat in the packed auditorium. Dr. Goodall, a renowned primatologist and conservationist, was invited to share her experiences and insights from her groundbreaking research on chimpanzees. Her lecture was not only informative, but also deeply inspiring. She spoke passionately about her lifelong commitment to understanding and protecting these remarkable creatures and their habitats. Dr. Goodall's storytelling skills and and heartfelt connection with the audience made the lecture truly captivating, leaving a lasting impact on everyone who attended. During her talk, Dr. Goodall highlighted the importance of environmental conservation and emphasized the urgent need for action to protect endangered species and ecosystems. She shared her personal stories of living among chimpanzees in the wild and the valuable lessons she learned from them about the interconnectedness of all living beings. She also touched upon the challenges faced by conservationists and the role that individuals and communities can play in making a positive difference. The lecture concluded with a powerful call to action, urging each one of us to take responsibility for the planet and to work towards a sustainable future.
In the picture, there is a dense jungle setting with lush greenery all around. Among the vegetation, two deer can be spotted partially hidden behind some plants, their heads slightly visible. In the center of the image, there is a pond, and within it, a crocodile can be seen partially submerged, its eyes and snout above the water surface. Just above the pond, there is a tall tree with several branches. On one of the branches, a monkey is hanging with its arms outstretched, appearing as if it's preparing to jump down to the ground. Sharing the same branch as the monkey, there is a bear comfortably sitting, seemingly unaffected by the monkey's imminent movement. Near the tree in front of the pond, there is a majestic lion sitting regally. On the ground in front of the lion, there is a rabbit, seemingly calm and undisturbed by the presence of the other animals. Behind the lion, there is a giraffe, its long neck stretching upwards as it grazes on the foliage. On the other side of the tree, opposite the lion, a tiger is sitting, its gaze focused intently on something in the distance. Lastly, near the base of the tree, there is a snake coiled up. This captivating jungle image portrays a delicate balance between predator and prey, each creature occupying its unique place in the intricate tapestry of the natural world. In this picture, based on the current scene and the behavior of the animals depicted, several possibilities arise for what may happen next. Looking at the picture, it is possible that the monkey will soon jump down from the tree branch propelled by its outstretched arms. The monkey's movement could create a stir among the animals in the immediate vicinity, catching their attention and potentially altering the peaceful atmosphere that currently envelops the scene. The bear, though appearing unfazed by the monkey's impending action, may react in response to the commotion. The lion, sitting regally in front of the pond, might remain composed in its dignified posture and observing the events unfolding around it. The rabbit, seemingly undisturbed by the presence of the other animals, may continue its calm demeanor oblivious to any imminent danger. The giraffe, engrossed in its grazing, may occasionally shift its attention to the surroundings but likely continue feeding peacefully. The tiger, its gaze fixed intently on something in the distance, may finally make its move. With its focused and predatory stare, it could be preparing to pounce on its intended target, whether it's another animal or an unsuspecting prey. Meanwhile, the snake, coiled up near the base of the tree, might remain still and watchful, blending in with its surroundings as it waits for the opportune moment to strike.
Dear wife, I have carefully considered the two alternatives for our home item purchase. After comparing, I have come to the conclusion that the double door refrigerator is the better choice for us. It has a four-star energy rating, which means it is energy efficient and will help us save city bills. The silver color will complement our kitchen decor nicely. With a capacity of 525 liters, it provides ample space for storing our groceries and other items. The inbuilt freezer is a convenient feature that allows us to store frozen food easily. Additionally, the refrigerator comes with a one-year warranty, providing us with peace of mind. On the other hand, the AC alternative has a three-star rating and offers long-lasting material. It provides swing and cool functionality, but the refrigerator better suits our needs. It is priced at $800, which is more affordable compared to the AC alternative priced at $850. Therefore, I believe that the double door refrigerator is the best choice for us. Dear friend, thank you for suggesting the window AC as another option. However, after comparing the two alternatives, I still believe that the double door refrigerator is the more suitable choice for us. The refrigerator has a higher energy rating of four stars, indicate energy efficiency and potential long-term savings on electricity bills. Additionally, its silver color complements our kitchen decor better than the white color of the window AC. In terms of functionality, the refrigerator provides a spacious 525 liter capacity for storing groceries and other items, while also, fe also featuring an inbuilt freezer for convenient storage of frozen food. The one-year warranty gives us peace of mind regarding potential repairs or issues. Comparatively, the window AC has a three-star rating and offers space efficiency, but it falls short in terms of capacity and versatility compared to the refrigerator. Furthermore, the refrigerator is priced at $800, which is slightly higher than the window AC, priced at $750. But considering its superior features and overall suitability for our needs, I still believe that the double-door refrigerator is the best choice for us.
Dear Mom, I wanted to talk to you about the upcoming concert you mentioned wanting to attend. I think it would be a wonderful opportunity for you and Dad to spend some quality time together and enjoy a night out. Considering the hectic schedules you both have, it's important to nurture your relationship and create cherished memories. Taking Dad to the concert would be a great way for both of you to reconnect and have a special evening together. You both deserve some time away from daily responsibilities and obligations. I'm confident that dad would be thrilled if you invited him and it would mean a lot to both of you. It would also give me the chance to spend some quality time with Michael as he has invited me to go camping with him this weekend. By taking dad to the concert, not only will you have a fantastic experience, but you'll also be giving me the opportunity to bond with my brother, which is something I don't want to miss out on. I truly believe that this arrangement would make everyone happy and strengthen our family bonds. Dear Michael, I wanted to talk to you about the camping trip you mentioned for this weekend. While I'm excited about the idea and would love to join you, I have another opportunity that has come up with our mother. She has expressed a strong interest in going to a concert with me, and I believe it would be a wonderful experience for both of us. Given that, I was wondering if we could reschedule the camping trip for next week instead. I understand that the camping trip was something you were looking forward to, and I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause. However, this concert is a rare chance for me to spend quality time with our mother, and I think it would mean a lot to her. I truly value our family relationships. And I believe it's important to seize opportunities like these when they arise. I hope you understand my perspective, and I would be more than happy to plan an even better camping trip next week, where we can all enjoy the experience together. In my opinion, both face-to-face conversation and communication over modern devices have their own advantages and should be valued based on the context and purpose of the communication. Face-to-face conversations provide a level of immediacy, personal connection, and nonverbal cues that can greatly enhance the quality of communication. Being able to see someone's facial expressions, body language, and hear the tone of their voice adds depth and richness to the interaction. It allows for real-time feedback and clarification, making it easier to establish rapport and build trust. 
face-to-face conversations are particularly valuable in situations that require emotional sensitivity, complex problem solving, or negotiation, where nuances and subtleties can be better conveyed and understood in person. On the other hand, communication over modern devices, such as emails, emails, and phone conversations, offers its own set of advantages. It provides convenience, accessibility, and the ability to communicate across distances and time zones. Modern communication tools allow us to connect with people around the world, bridging geographical barriers and enabling collaboration on a global scale. They offer a record of communication that can be referred back to promoting clarity and accountability. Moreover, communication over modern devices can be more efficient in certain situations, allowing for multitasking and the ability to communicate asynchronously without the need for immediate responses. Dear Mother, I hope this message finds you well. While I was out shopping, I came across some bottles that I think would be great for our house. There are five water bottles in total, and they all have white-colored text written on them. One of the bottles caught my attention because it is purple in color. It looks quaint and would add a pop of color to our kitchen or dining area. Additionally, there are two bottles that are a combination of pink and green colors, which creates a lovely and refreshing look. The contrasting colors make these bottles visually appealing. Furthermore, there is another bottle that caught my eye, and it is of sky blue color. Blue color. It has a calming and soothing vibe to it. What's interesting is that each of these bottles has text written on them. The text includes timings, reminding us to stay hydrated throughout the day, and motivational messages encouraging us to drink water regularly. I believe these bottles would not only serve a practical purpose, but also bring some positivity and motivation into our daily routines. Before making the purchase, I wanted to seek your approval. If you think these bottles would be a good addition to our home, please let me know and I'll be happy to buy them.